Welcome to another video about wine. Today I want to talk about the influence of wine reviews and tell you how I use the Vivino app. So when I'm picking out a new wine, I like to do my research and I usually use Vivino to look up the new wine. So Vivino is an app that you can get on your phone and it can do a lot of things. You can actually buy wine through Vivino. Now I've never done that, so I'm not gonna speak about that, but I will tell you about some of the other features, some of the other functions that you can use on Vivino. And it's pretty easy to use it. I'll use this wine, the 2018 uh, Etna Bianco from Planeta, as an example, we'll run through it. To look up your wines, all you gotta do is snap a photo of it and then it'll look up your your wine and then once you do that you can see a lot of things through there so you can see the average score you can see what people are talking about the taste characteristics but what exactly does that all mean and is it important well with the score the average score that you're seeing on there you got to kind of be careful with that because that's, I mean, that's just an average score, everybody that's rated it. And if it has a good score, that doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to be a good wine. And it definitely doesn't mean that you're going to like it or not. You have to decide that for yourself because maybe your tastes don't align with the masses or maybe a bunch of people have got on there and they don't really know what they're talking about, and so maybe it has a score that it doesn't really deserve. So in that sense, the wine score, the average score that it has on there on Vivino, maybe not really that helpful. But what I like is some of the other things on there, the, the what people are talking about. So you can go in there and you can see some of the, the key words, the buzzwords, what people are saying about the wine. So for this one, for instance, we see earthiness, we see citrus. You see all these crazy terms, and I mean, there's some crazy terms thrown around in the wine world. Not with this wine, but sometimes they talk about leather, they talk about forest floor, and I mean, these things sound absolutely crazy, but this will kind of give you a starting point. You can read this on here and you'll kind of know. It'll give you a direction, kind of let you know what to expect, and I think that's pretty cool. So we'll go ahead and get into this one here. As for the looks, looks like a pale gold color. And I think somebody said that on one of the reviews. I would have to agree with that. I would say pale gold, maybe some hints of greenness in the color. On the smell, there's a very strong smell. It's just like jumping out of the glass. I don't even have to really get that close to it before I start smelling it. It's very strong aromas. But I would say it smells kind of like citrus fruit, maybe a little tropical. It seems pretty tropical uh, scents. And then there's also kind of like a, a creaminess to it, which seems kind of interesting. So we'll go ahead and give it a, a taste. So usually with the Etna Whites, I do get the citrus, and I would say maybe like orange, kind of like an orange flavor in there. It kind of, to me, it kind of leans a little tropical. So maybe also kind of like say peach in there as well. But then there, there is kind of a, it's almost like nuts. There's a kind of nuttiness to it, and it's a little bit heavier. It's a little uh, like texture to it, but kind of nutty. And then of course the mineral, the mineralness that comes from these Etna Whites. Salty, for sure in this one, a little bit of gravel, uh, but pretty interesting stuff. And I mean, that's listing off quite a few characteristics there. So that I would say that's kind of complex. So I would definitely give them points for that. And then once you've tasted your wine, you can use the Vivino app and you can, you know, kind of go back and look and see, does this line up with what you're thinking? Does it line up with what all the other people 
are saying. Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't. With this one, I'd say, I'd say it is lining up pretty good with what the rest of the people are saying. Now I'm kind of a nerd and I like to go back and look at all the ones that I've rated before. So I say, oh, well, I rated this one a three. I rated this one a five. Well, really, I don't, I don't give fives that often. I'm only getting one five-star rating. But anyway, I kind of look back and I see where is this gonna fall relative to all the other wines that I've tasted. And this one, I'd say, is pretty good. Uh, so I'd say I'd go ahead and give it a, a four star rating, four out of five, so that's pretty good. So then of course you'll put in your rating and then it's in there and you can track all of the wines that you'll have into the future. You can go back and take a look and see what you thought about it because you can make notes in there. Another cool feature about the Vino, it also has the, the cellar feature and so this is uh, wines that maybe you haven't tried yet. You have them, you own them, but you haven't tried them yet and it kind of helps you keep track of all that good stuff. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Maybe you learned something a little bit about Vivino. I had actually never heard of Vivino up until probably less than a year ago. So I'm not really sure how popular it is just yet, but let me know in the comments if you use Vivino and please tell me how you like to use it or maybe you don't use it and maybe you don't really like the idea of wine reviews, wine scores, stuff like that. Maybe you don't wanna be influenced by what other people are saying. That's fine too. Let me know. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you did enjoy this video and I will see you in the next one. But for now, cheers.